What is up, everybody? Welcome to another Azar Reels taste test, and today we're checking checking out another item that came from Philly's from uh, Charlie's Philly Steaks, which is a sandwich shop that's known for making uh, Philly cheese steak sandwiches and different variations of them. Um, last time I went there, I had a regular, you know, original Philly cheese steak. It was great, no complaints um, at all. So I went back there, and they had a new sandwich on the menu. Um, well, everything's new to me, but as far as what they actually had available, they added a new item to it, and I decided I want to try it out. And this is a habanero chicken uh, sandwich. Habanero chicken sandwich. Let me get the right name. Habanero. Um, let's see. What's the name of this damn thing? A habanero. Uh, oh, man, help me out here. I can't even remember the damn name of it, and they don't have the name of it on the damn thing. Um, all I know is that it was a habanero, sweet, hot chicken sandwich, I think that's what it was. I know I suck. But anyway, it comes with a <laughs> chicken, um, a habanero, a habanero barbecue chicken sandwich, that's what it was. Um, but yeah, it has a habanero barbecue sauce, um dice onions lettuce tomato uh chicken marinated in the uh sliced actually shaved chicken in the um in the habanero uh sauce mixed in there and here you go comes with a cup of fries actually i had way more it was actually overflowing with fries then i got me a strawberry lemonade which is really fucking good so as usual I will taste this and give you guys my opinions of this. So, let's pick one of these bad boys up because it smells hot. Now, I'm not expecting this to be spicy at all because anytime they put habanero in any type of sandwich place or any fast food joint, um, you know, they, uh, they don't, like, the habanero can't really be, you know, sauce can't really be spicy. Hold on to me. There we go. The habanero um, sauces can never really be spicy, <laughs> like the way I would like them personally. But you know, the average person isn't gonna want like an overwhelming amount of spice. So I'm not expecting this to be spicy at all. Last time I had something from a fast food joint, I think it was Wendy's, and they had like the ghost pepper sauce, and it wasn't even remotely um, spicy. Oh, another thing I want to say uh, is that this actually comes with bacon as well. I opt out to get the bacon because I don't really eat bacon anymore. Uh, not not that I'm Muslim or anything like that. I just really don't care for bacon anymore. Um, especially from fast food places primarily. Because uh, fast food bacon sucks. I don't know why. It's just like, it tastes weird. So, yeah, let's try this out and let's see what, what, what I'm dealing with. Mm. I just got a bite of everything. Mmm. Let me go for another bite, because that one wasn't good enough. Alright. Here's the deal. Just like I thought, the habanero sauce wasn't going to be spicy. The habanero barbecue wasn't spicy at all. Not even feeling anything. I'm trying to wait a while because normally with habanero peppers, they actually take like a, they have like this delayed fuse, and they just take a while to really kick in before they really start kicking your ass. So I'm just like, I'm not saying anything. I'm just waiting to see if I feel any tingle. Nah, nothing. Uh, like nothing's happening. Now, the flavor of this stuff is, is good, but the thing that kind of threw me off was that I don't know if I would have put tomato and lettuce on here. That's the thing that kind of threw me off. The tomato and lettuce, I don't really think that works well with the habanero barbecue uh, chicken. Like, the, the habanero barbecue chicken is fine by itself. The tomatoes are fine by themselves, and you know what I mean? But together, eh, I don't know. The only thing I would have probably threw on here were like the diced onions. That's like the only thing that makes sense. The lettuce and tomato is kind of like a, I don't know, 
pretty much just like one of those songs that the original song is good, but then they go and make a remix, and then the remix is just awful. That's what the lettuce and tomatoes on on this uh, sandwich is. It's a bad remix. <laughs> you know, that should have never happened. Um, so, yeah, the lettuce and tomato don't really complement the other flavors they got going on in the sandwich. But other than that, you know, the sandwich is fine. The bread is good. Everything is good. So, um, all together, um, I think the price of this was like $14. So, it is a bit on the pricey side. I don't see myself eating here every day. Um, especially if I didn't have to like upload videos of it, so certainly I wouldn't, you know, they got fast food joints around there that if I wanted to grab something quick, I most definitely would have went there instead. It's just that I'm trying to try new things for the first time. So, so that's my opinion of the, um, Charlie Philly steaks, uh, habanero barbecue chicken sandwich. Um, it's all right. Wouldn't put the, I personally wouldn't put the tomato in uh, lettuce on there, but I guess they wanted to add some color to it, so they decided to do it, I don't know, it's their fucking culinary rule, um, but yeah, so thank you guys for watching, peace, and I will see you guys next time.